Welcome back to the channel. It's me. I'm a little, little rough here. But anyway, it's me, your boy, Engineer Hall. So today we're going to respond to the questions that I got on how did I bulge out the gantos on the last video that I did. Very fun video. If you ever get a chance to get the product, I advise you to get it. It's fun. It's from the project during the weekends. So to bulge this out, this is going to need stuff around the house. If you can, uh, you know, get access to certain uh, tools. So what I did is use this uh, cigar, torch, and a ladder. I got a ladder from Yankee, Can Yankee Candle because they have a gooseneck that you can get in there. But using the candle takes a little bit longer to get it uh, warmed up. But the torch get it faster, but you got to be quick with the torch. Also, you can use the end of uh, a Zacto knife and a flathead screwdriver. So that's the tools I use here. You know, some people might like the, the method of the ladder if they only get access to a ladder. Some people might get access to the little uh, torch that I got for cigars. So I'm sure how to do it. Quick, simple, easy. But remember, if you take too long, you will burn the car like I did. Well, I'm not the past. You won't burn it. So. Well, here we go. Here Jump into the video. Gondolas. You, know, you can work for a Walters and Atlas. Now, if you make a mistake and you burn a hole through it, I use this patch destruct here to simulate a patch. That's the item number here. If you want to use it, you can go smaller if you like, but this is what I have on hand. Now, to make it burn or melt or to heat up the plastic, I have this uh, cigarette uh, torch here. Oh, cigarette, uh, ladder, or oh, cigar torch, I'm sorry. And also, you can use this here. I got from Yankee uh, Candle. All right. Then we'll be pushing out with either a flathead screwdriver here or a bottom of a Zeckler knife. Took the blade off, so I'm gonna cut myself. So, anyway, in the midst of that, I was working on the project from the Scoot Kill Iron Works. Pretty good kit. Got a lot of work to get it done. So, I see it back there. But I'm gonna show you how to get this pushed out. So, Excuse me, let's do a little project. So now, so you gotta be quick with it though, all right? And I gotta got the heat going, and I put it in the car, small section at a time. You see that it's that little small time, you see that the car start to warp a little bit. So I'm gonna come through with the Flathead screwdriver and just push down on here. Get the heat going. Five seconds. And set it down. Get the flathead screwdriver and just push it out. A little seconds at a time. You look up. You see how it punched out a little bit here on the edges? The fire. And I believe I found if you lay it on the side, it won't um, like melt the car and keep the top of the car straight. So just do this push it out. Just like that. This way you want to go, you can go down like that, hit the bottom, and we'll roll the car over, and you can see how it's getting pushed out. The more you do it, the better you get at it. I'm gonna do this finish the side here. The switch. One, two, three, four, five. Five seconds. And you can see there that you can see the, the lines on the ribbing start to appear. Like that. Roll over, take a look at what you got. I'm gonna come out too bad. I'm gonna go hit this little section up here, give a little bulge in these two panels. So we'll come back to heat, heat it up, about five seconds, let it get warm enough to get soft, and just come, press it in.
there you go now uh, Lauren when you do this you see inside that the you see the ripping of the car start to appear this we know is, is warm enough to push it out and try to stay clear of it so it just be pushing out this the uh, panels not the uh, entire rib unless you want that now I think I went a little too hard here and also here but it's fine let's keep going down the line push down push too much now Now, I'm going to do the other side with a uh, flame. Some guys may not have this torch here, but got this little ladder, and we're going to use that instead. So, it's got a little gooseneck, so that helps out a lot. Let's put a little heat back and forth, get nice and warm. That should be it here. And just push. Alright. Let me get this lit up here. Nice and warm. Alright. This takes a little bit longer for it. Now just the heat alone, you see how the car start to work by itself. You see how the ribs are starting to uh, cave in like that? So that's what I really don't want. So that's why we do it like this. And it's warm enough to kind of form it. Make it somewhat straight. Pull it back. Yeah, so now here's the opportunity where we can have, create some damage here on the car where it got a side swipe. So we take like a, um, get some more heat and we just go run across like that like it has some side damage. So yeah, give it a little heat, a little warm, a little warm man. That's good enough for me. And just slide up, see? Slide it across to look like I uh, took some damage. That's how the plastic's like super soft. So just like that. So just like that you see a mistake turn into a, a something different here. The a car took a little damage there, got a soft swipe, so it's pretty cool. So let's keep going here. We did this a little bit longer and you can see the, the coloration will start to warp here on the bottom of the car. Then we'll roll them and see what happens. Now you see they almost put a hole in it. But you know what? Let's put a hole in it. This is, this is gonna warm a little bit more. Melt to the way. Here, I will pass this up. Hold in the car. Now I'm gonna do the sides here. 
with, with the ends of the car. It'll be some, somewhat difficult, but we can show you how I do it. Heat it up. Push them out because it's a lot of plastic here on the end. See how the, the ribs there on the car showing here. And see how a little so we did manage to get uh, the bulge here on the car. So I'm gonna do the other side. Then here we go, we managed to get the bulge. Press it, press it in here. I'm just looking how it will turn out to be. It ain't gonna look bad at all. I got what I exactly what I want out of it. I got it come, come I have it come into the yellow. Like it been of course prepared. This car I look like had a, a side swipe that pushed in some of these uh, support ribs here, or the ribs of the car here. Now I'm gonna take this car here. Of course you know how to do. Frame it. Small sections at a time. Now this is not gonna be a, a hard or a heavy uh, deal, so now I'm gonna take the end of a exacto blade here, or exacto knife, and just push it in. So this is not gonna be a heavy weather car. So, so far, we do. There we go. So far, subtle, real subtle. 